Every few years, a city bursts into celebration as they have been chosen to host the Olympics. Paris is set to host the 2024 Summer Olympics, and Los Angeles has been picked for the 2028 Games. I have the great honor to announce that the International Olympic Committee has simultaneously elected the host city of the Games of the 33rd Olympiad 2024 and the host city of the Games of the 34th Olympiad 2028, Paris 24, Los Angeles 28. And beyond, India, Poland, Mexico, and Indonesia are eyeing the prize for 2036. The announcement is a moment of pride, a promise of global attention. We get it, hosting the Olympics is a big deal, but it is also expensive, really expensive. We're talking billions of dollars pumped into infrastructure, stadiums, and security. Yes, this extravaganza can cost upwards of $20 billion. That's enough to fund lunar explorations or create a tech utopia, and the glitz and glamour of athletic prowess might blind us to the harsh realities behind the scenes. But what happens when the fans leave and the lights go out? Well, behind the spectacle of the Olympics lies a controversial and often untold story. Today, we dive deep into the financial whirlpool of hosting the Olympics a realm where dreams clash with hard economic realities. So, get ready for an eye-opening journey. The Olympics are more than a sports event, they're a multi-billion dollar enterprise. But what's the real cost of bringing this global event to life? The bulk of the budget? Venue construction. These aren't just any venues, we're talking state-of-the-art world-class facilities. But there's more. Security, infrastructure, operational costs, it's a financial marathon. And then there's marketing opening ceremonies that are nothing short of a Hollywood blockbuster, and athletes who are walking, talking billboards for brands. It's a spectacle where commerce meets sports. Tokyo 2020 escalated to a staggering $13 billion despite the COVID-19 restrictions, overrunning initial budgets by billions. But Tokyo isn't alone in this financial spiral. London 2012 cost the UK approximately $15 billion, more than double the original estimate. But imagine spending billions on a two-week event while your city battles poverty and crumbling infrastructure. And this, sadly, is not a fictional scenario. It's the Olympic reality for many cities. Remember Athens 2004? A supposed economic miracle transformed into a financial nightmare. The Olympic cost staggering $7.5 billion, double the initial budget, leaving Greece gasping for air under a mountain of debt for years to come. And who can forget Rio 2016? unfinished venues, polluted waters, and a staggering $13.1 billion price tag, while favelas remain neglected, highlighting the widening gap between Olympic glory and local realities. And what happens to all those fancy Olympic venues after the games are over? Well, the post-Olympic landscapes often tell a story of neglect, majestic stadiums now ghostly relics of forgotten promises. Beijing's Bird's Nest Stadium stands as a majestic monument to sporting prowess, but also as a lonely reminder of the $42 billion bill the Games left behind. Many smaller venues now gather dust, serving as expensive reminders of fleeting glory. Montreal's Olympic Park? More like a financial parkour course. Costing twice the initial estimate, it took decades to pay off, leaving taxpayers performing financial somersaults to stay afloat. And let's not overlook the social impact. Although the Olympic flame symbolizing peace and unity, but sometimes casts a shadow on the very communities it aims to celebrate. Take Rio de Janeiro, where the 2016 Olympics led to the displacement of thousands from their homes in the favelas. Security measures, while aiming to protect, can also turn cities into fortresses, isolating residents and raising concerns about civil liberties. Remember Sochi's draconian anti-LGBT laws? A stark reminder that Olympic ideals of inclusion can get lost in the security shuffle. The ecological footprint is equally alarming. Beijing 2022 faced global scrutiny for its artificial snow production, consuming vast amounts of water and energy. Vancouver 2010, despite its green promise, disrupted natural habitats. With the planet in a climate crisis, are these environmental costs justifiable? Definitely not. Now, some of you might argue that not all Olympic stories end in financial heartbreak, Barcelona, for example, used the games to waltz into a new era of prosperity. They built beautiful infrastructure, attracted investment, and tourism danced to the rhythm of their success. Los Angeles? They did a victory backflip, using the 1984 games to launch themselves into tech stardom, 
So, what's the difference? Well, their secret lies in careful planning, realistic budgeting, and a genuine desire to leave a legacy that doesn't involve mountains of debt and abandoned stadiums gathering dust. But they are exceptions in the risky gamble, because for every Los Angeles 1984, which profited by $215 million through corporate sponsorships and television rights, there's a Montreal 1976, which plunged the city into $1.5 billion of debt, taking 30 years to pay off. The Olympic legacy is indeed a gamble, with the dice loaded against many host cities. So, the question isn't, is hosting the Olympics a dream? It's, is your city prepared to wake up from that dream without a financial hangover? That's all from this side. Let's hear your thoughts. Is hosting the Olympics a dream or a potential nightmare? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if this eye-opening journey intrigued you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more provocative content. Until next time, keep watching and keep questioning.